Hi guys, this is Ryan Blair at Halo Inc. And today I'm going to show you how to set up a booklet job. It's a little bit more complex in uh, Fiery using Impose. So first what you're going to want to do is you're going to find the files that you're working with. And in this case we're dealing with eight chapters of a booklet. We're just going to drag out the first chapter into the health queue here in Fiery. We're going to right click on it and Impose it. And that will bring us up into impose here. Um, we're printing two up, and these are eight and a half by 11 onto 11 by 17s. So first thing we're gonna do is change our sheet size to 11 by 17, and we're gonna change the orientation to landscape. Uh, next, we're gonna change it from normal to gang up, and then from unique to repeat. And why we're doing this is because right now you're seeing uh, page one, page two on the front, page three, page four on the back, and basically we want two books printed side by side. Um, so when we flip it to repeat, now we've got two covers, uh, two page twos, page three, page four, so on. So basically we could cut this book right down the middle and have two books at the end. Um, for this particular job here, um, we're going to scale to fit the artwork wasn't quite set up the way that it should be and uh, the customer is fine with how it is um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that and we're gonna set a gutter of 0.125 and that is good um, so next what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna be inserting slip sheets into this as well in between every chapter so we're gonna click on um, the beginning here sheet one and we're gonna go all the way down to sheet 37 here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click uh, actually we're not gonna we're gonna right click and we're gonna assign media and paper source we're gonna be printing out a tray six um, so that's what we're going to select here and we're gonna hit OK now over here on the left uh, you're gonna notice that it's missing a back even though it's really there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert a blank page and the shortcut for that is control shift P whoops I'll do that, that went to the wrong place. Control shift P. You gotta click where it needs to go in. So we need one there just to make it even. And we're gonna add two more because we need to add in a slip sheet and essentially it shows front and back, which is why we do two. Um, so you can click on either two of these, right click, assign media, paper source, our slip sheets are gonna be coming out of tray three. So we're gonna click tray three and click OK. And now what you're gonna see is uh, we're gonna have tray six, up above tray three right here. Um, so that is chapter one. Time to jump in chapter two. So we tab over to our folder and we're gonna take chapter two and we're gonna put it to the right of that slip sheet that we just added. And that's going to add all of the pages below. And all we need to do is just click down a couple of clicks until we see chapter two. We're gonna click that one and we're gonna scroll down to the end and hold shift and click at the end of it to select all of chapter two. Right click, assign media, and that's also gonna be printed to tray six. So we assign that. We could scroll back down and we can see that we need to add another blank page, control shift P. Now we need to add our slip sheet, which is two blank pages. So we do it twice. Right click on uh, the blank slip sheet here, assign that to tray three, which is where our slips are coming from. And we're ready to add another chapter. We tab over, grab our chapter three, drop that to the right of the slip sheet. And we basically just keep repeating this process where uh, we click on the first page of the next chapter we're working on, scroll down, shift click on the last one, and we can assign that to the tray we're printing from, tray six. Again, come back down. And I'm gonna do only one more, that way um, this video is not crazy long, but I know the next chapter is gonna end on an even number, and uh, I'll just show you that. Set our slip sheet. Chapter four. Drop in our chapter four, this is where it's Slightly different, but it's really not. So we click on our chapter four first page, scroll down, shift click on the last, assign media, tray six, 
and this is where you're gonna see that's different is that there's actually a uh, back page on there. So we only need to create two new sheets to give us our sub sheet down here. And essentially you're gonna run through as many chapters of the book you're printing and then when you're, com you're finished with the file, all you need to do is just click the X to close it and it's gonna ask if you wanna save it. You're gonna click yes and then you're going to get a new file in your held queue uh, which is gonna be this, the, whatever the first file you dropped in with dash IMP at the end and you know that that's your imposed file and you're ready to print.